Hello, dear students. Today I am going to discuss with you financial accounting subject in that farm accounting chapter and in that final accounts of uh, farms. So this one is a fourth video on farm accounting. So now I am going to discuss with you how final accounts of uh, farms are going to be prepared. In both methods it is going to be prepared. It is first one that is a single entry system and it may be in double entry system. So in single entry system it is uh, simply by uh, posting the all the transactions in cash account, cash book. So we are going to prepare here analytical cash book and also uh, to find out the opening capital we are going to prepare here that is the uh, statement of appears beginning statement of appears as on year beginning we are going to prepare the find out the opening capital and also we are going to prepare the statement of appears at the end of the year to find out the closing stock closing capital and also we have to prepare revised statement of appears under single entry system so these all things i am discuss with you today so let's glance on that all the things see here uh, final accounts of a farms are going to be maintained in two methods it may be single entry and double entry in single entry we have to prepare analytical columns for cash book and in that statement of appears method if we used statement of appears method in that we are going to preparing the statement of appears as on beginning of the year and the statement of appears at the end of the year beginning of the year by using by preparing that one we find out the opening capital and the uh, statement of appears at the end of the year by preparing that one we find out the closing capital then statement of profit or loss it one also uh, comes so we have to prepare here to uh, find out the profit and loss of the particular year that one we have to must and should prepare statement of profit or loss then after that we have to prepare revised statement of appears it is just like balance sheet so here all liabilities and um, assets are available and also opening capital will be available here and whatever the profit and loss arises that one will be transferred to the uh, revised statement of appears so, so i will discuss you uh, in single entry system of accounting it is a uh, uh, seems like an incomplete record of accounting the transactions are recorded in these books are as per the needs and convenience of the concern so in here mainly we are going to be prepared uh, according to the our receipts and payment we have to prepare analytical columns on cash book in here so many columns are required in receipt side and also payment side and in single entry system it is the analytical column in cash book is going to be maintained that one i will explain the problem which is related to analytical column and cash book and also um, to find out the profit and loss uh, we are going to use the another one method that is the statement of appears method. In that we are going to preparing the uh, already I explained that is the statement of appears at the beginning and statement of appears at the end and also statement of profit and loss and statement of uh, revised statement of appears. These four things are going to be maintained. So today one problem which is related to analytical cash book so that one i will explain here see uh, in your book enter the following transaction of a farmer for the month of april 2012 in a cash book maintained under analytical column system and balance the same so see here all the transactions are given in in by referring these all transaction we have to prepare analytical analytical column and cash book so see here balance of cash given purchased seeds for cash 
then sold ready for cash paid wages to form workers so see here these all things are our information is given simply simply uh, we have to you have to think which one is uh, we made payment and which one is uh, our incomes or receipts so simply we have to think about these all information so see here balance of uh, cash it means uh, balance brought down it is going to be in receipt side then come to the point next purchased seeds for cash cash after paying the cash we purchased the seeds so it is a payment we made so it is came side payment side then sold ready for cash it is a receipt receipt to us so then paid wages to farm workers we paid the wages to whom farm workers so it is a payment payment side then received cash on account from debtors so from debtors we received cash so it is a receipt side then cash paid to the creditors on account so we paid cash to the creditors it is a payment side then sold paid to cash to the customers so it is a receipt side paid wages to permanent workers so it is also payment side sold vegetables grown on the land which is grown on the land that vegetables are sold it is a receipt then paid cash for purchase of seeds so we paid the cash to purchase the seeds so it is a payment then sold wheat in the market so after selling the wheat we receive the cash so it is a receipt side paid cash on cash for repairs to implements so it is a payment then loan taken from gramin bank so we had taken loan from gramin bank but it is uh, uh, we received so bank loan so it is a receipt side cash taken from office for household expenses so it it is comes from uh, receipt side so then next purchased manure and paid cash so to purchase the manure we paid the cash so it is payment side then sold paid and received cash it is a receipt side sold wheat for cash receipt side paid paid salary to um, employees paid salary to the employees it is a payment side withdrawn cash from bank for office use so it is a uh, receipt side so from bank we received the cash or withdraw the cash so these all things according to their nature of transaction we have to allot payment and receipt then we have to just put that all informations or all transactions in analytical column and cash book so see here how it is how it is format will be how its format will be see here there is a analytical column and cash book which is, which is available in your book so see here in here analytical column and cash book receipt side and payment side both are there so here also date column is there here also we have to put the date column then say receipts payments then opening balance sales of goods debtors bank loan bank account these are all things comes receipts are according to the information we have we have to write in or we have to prepare the columns then same time here in payment side closing stock then purchases of goods wages to workers creditors repairs drawings salary and total amount so these all things we have to be prepare so these all things uh, simply transactions according to the nature receipt side we have to write receipt side all the transaction and the payment side we have to write all the payment side transactions so then after that we have to uh, make the difference between payment and receipt then we point get the balance brought down 
so this is all about all about uh, analytical column of columns cash book so see here purchases of seats uh, purchased and wages paid creditors wages paid to workers purchases seats repairs drawings cash paid whatever the cash paid it means payment related purchases of manure and paid the cash salary salary paid these all things which is related to payment so same time which columns it is related transaction we have to put that amount on particular column same time you see here in receipt side balance brought down it is opening balance so it is in opening balance column sales per d so it is a sales column then debtors it is a debtor column then the received from debtors cash so it is a receipt side debtors column then sold paddy that is a sales vegetable sales of wheat that are these all things by selling we received cash so it is comes receipt side then bank loan we taken blank loan so it is a bank loan account then debtors cash received then sales then sales then bank cash withdrawn which is a withdrawn that even also comes bank account so these all things according to their nature of transaction we have to allot the receipt side payment side transaction then we have to prepare analytical columns cash book then total these all the things and this side and this side both the side we have to total then total columns the difference between total columns that is um, one three thousand that is a closing stock will be arises then we have to put that one balance brought down so this is problem is given on your book and one more problem on same type of problem which is asked in your book so this one is a, a section c exercise there is a given c c here there is also they asked uh, enter the following transaction of farmer for the month april 12 2012 in a cash book maintained under analytical column system and balance the same 2012 so see here the all the transactions are given here by using these all the information we have to prepare analytical columns cash book so see here balance of cash it is means opening opening balance then it is comes receipt side it is comes where it is comes receipt side then purchased seats for cash so we paid that cash then sold paddy for cash so it is a received we received cash by selling then paid wages to farmer so it is payment side received cash on account from debtors so it is a receipt side cash paid to creditors on account so payment side sold paddy for cash to the customer receipt side paid wages to permanent workers payment side sold vegetables it is a receipt side paid cash for purchase of seeds payment side sold wheat receipt side paid cash for repairs it is payment side loan taken from gramina bank it is a receipt side cash taken from office for household expenses so it is uh, we have taken the uh, lo uh, the cash from office for for what household expenses so we did here expenses so that's why it is uh, um mm, drawings then received cash from debtors on account so it is a receipt side purchase in manure and paid cash it is also payment side then sold paddy received cash it is a receipt side sold wheat for cash it is a receipt side paid salary of employees so it is a payment side withdrawn cash from bank for office use so it is a uh, receipt side so these all things which one i already allocated the payment and receipt side simply by referring the um, analytical column and cash book 
which is given in your book we ha you have to prepare that one okay uh, next class i will continue that is uh, how to prepare statement of appears by using the information which is given as uh, beginning information and end of the year information and how to prepare statement of appears at the beginning to find out the opening capital by using these all the things and the how to find out the closing capital by using the end of the year information and how to prepare profit and loss appears statement of profit and loss appears and that one last one that is the revised statement of appears how to find out these all things i will explain in next class okay thank you